just a little bit envious at the moment. I'm here underneath the nut at beautiful Stanley on the northwest coast, outside the Ship Inn. And it's one of those places where you think, oh, I've got to change my life. I want to come and live at Stanley, which is exactly what the people who have the Ship Inn did. They're in Hobart with very busy corporate jobs and a business, and they decided to make the change. Let's go and meet them. What's the history of the Ship Inn? So the Ship Inn was built in the 1840s by Michael Lyons, whose grandson, Joe Lyons went on to become Prime Minister. So Joe was born in the little cottage next door, but it was built as a pub. So a pub for the sailors and the locals. We had been having conversations around what could we do to move to the northwest coast? How could we earn a living? And this property had been on the market for over a year. And one morning Alistair said, why don't we have a look at that? So, oh, okay. <laughs> It feels like Stanley's pretty well organised. Everyone's offering something slightly different in terms of cafes and restaurants and accommodation. What, do you, what does the ship in bring that no one else brings? I guess we, we took the approach of we wanted to really highlight the vintage and the history but do it in a very modern and luxurious way. And we used a fantastic team of stylists who worked with us every step of the way. It was a two and a half year project to get to where we are now. And they said to us, once you've created this, people will come from all over the country to stay at this place to experience the style that you have created. We sort of looked at each other and thought, <laughs> really? But we do, we get that feedback. We have guests contacting us and saying, we just, your website looks incredible. We want to stay there because of the way you've styled it. Um, and I guess that's what we offer is something different to the other properties just in the way that we've styled the shipping. You've created a beautiful project here. Who was the inspiration Was it initially? Was it you who was thinking you wanted to do something like this? Or was it Kerry? I think the anything to do with outside my brain, get, oh, I get overexcited really. Um, so when it comes to inside, well, I guess she's got the talent and the knack for inside and I've got something outside. And so creating, and the stone that we got off the property, all the walls, uh, every stone's off the property. So COVID hit and I imagine you would have thought at the time, oh, where are we gonna go from here? Because no one knew what was gonna happen. How was COVID for you? Oh, obviously a shock like everybody it was pretty devastating because we were still renovating and we had to ship but we were open so we were sort of trying to exist hoping that we had to shut down obviously lock down we had to hope that we could um, come out of okay at the end the tasmanians got out and they well we were full for a winter What do you want your guests to experience here? What is it that you're trying to convey in what you've done? Um, I guess on our trip, we had such a good time in Stanley and it was one of the highlights of our trip around Tasmania that we want this to be one of the highlights of other people's trips, that they go away thinking, wow, wasn't that special? Didn't we have a lovely time there? We felt really looked after and we enjoyed the history and the, the luxury of the experience. Mm -hmm.